Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rafael from WebPro Hub. In this video today, I'm going to teach you some certain things you need to know before installing any plugin on your website. Okay, because I got a lot of questions on social media asking me a series of questions about plugin conflict. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the things that you need to know before installing any WordPress plugin. All right. And before that, let me tell you what a plugin is all about. A plugin is simply a software, okay, that helps your website to function the way you like it, okay? So it is the functionality of your website. And many people don't know this. And there are people out there who claim to be web designers, but when an issue rises, you know, they can't solve the issue. But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to avoid these issues please if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel by hitting on the subscribe button below and don't forget to smash on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and if you're not a subscriber i thank you so much for coming back to check what i have for you on my channel all right so without wasting time now let me go straight to the point to show you the things that you need to understand before installing any plugin on your website number one you must make sure that the plugin you want to install is compatible with your website if it is not compatible it might conflict with your website and when the conflict arise you know your site will start having issues okay so you must know if the plugin is compatible with your website or not and also number two you need to install the plugins that you want to make use of. Don't install a lot of plugins, you know. There are people out there who install series of plugins, but they don't use them. They only use about three or four plugins, but others are there for fancy, which is not good because too much of plugins can slow down your website. Let me tell you, for instance, last month I got a question from Instagram someone on my channel made me on my instagram channel because i added my instagram handle on my channel so this guy said i should chat me up on instagram so which i did and the guy started telling me about the issue he was facing on his website the guy created a news website and integrated a discussion forum all right and uh, the issue the guy was having is that members cannot create a topic on the forum and this has become you know a serious matter all right and this guy said that i should help him to fix that i said okay there's no problem i will help you and he asked me how much will i charge i don't mention anything because i really want to help him out i want to show him something all right so i asked the guy to give me his uh login details admin login details and the guy was afraid of giving me the login details because they might think that uh maybe I'm a hacker that can hack his side. No, I'm not like that. I don't have people. I don't have people. So I did everything I could in order to convince the guy. And at last, I convinced the guy. And, and that guy sent me the login details. And I logged in. Then when I started checking the issues, I discovered that there was one plugin there, you know, that was conflicting with other ones. Okay, I now said, okay, guy, I have discovered the issue. And this guy asked me what issue i asked him do you want to know the issue or you want me to fix that issue for you he said i should fix it that's okay now i fixed the issue i removed that plugin because he was not using that plugin i removed the plugin and the site started functioning normal and i sent the guy my account number you know to appreciate and the guy started you know saying a lot of things i really don't want to charge him but i just want him to show love understand just want him to show love and this guy was claiming that you know his wise okay there's no problem you can go so guys these are the things that you need to understand you need to know that you need to understand if the plugin is very compatible with your website or not and also you must not install every plugin you need to install the plugin that you want to use on your website if not if you store like 20 plugins while you're making use of five it might slow down your website so please make sure 
you implement all those things right now if you want to install a plugin from your wordpress plugin directory you know maybe you search for a plugin now for example a contact form plugin and when you see that the plugin is not yet tested please 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 if you're a beginner don't install that particular plugin because it might conflict with other plugins make sure that it is compatible and also again even though the plugin is compatible it might conflict so you need to be very very careful you know and when something happens you need to identify the last plugin that we install which caused that issue okay and if you found out that issue then you can remove that plugin all right so guys this is how to you know avoid breaking of sites all right so if you like this video kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting on the subscribe button below and also smash on the bell icon for more upcoming videos like this one you have already watched thank you very much for watching this video see you